Hey, we're happy to be back with you. We got some really good stuff on today's show. Two Russian MiG jet engines mounted on a tank. We have a mashup of the 10 coolest adventure vehicles out in the market right now. But before we get to any of that cool stuff, here's some of our top outdoors news stories from this month. Taekwondo masters are quick. How quick? Oh man, have you ever heard the saying faster than a bear trap? Nope. Well, they should be after this. Was a demonstration of skill or a warning to little Timmy's father not to be late on next month's dues? Earlier this month, nearly 300,000 people gathered for South Korea's largest ice fishing festival. The event drew fishers and tourists from all over the world who gathered on the frozen lake. Oh, there he is. This 13-foot, 1,200-pound Greenland shark was brought in off the coast of Norway by Joel Abramson. It's the world record catch and run reel in a kayak. It took him over 90 minutes to bring in the beast. The fish was thought to be over 200 years old, and had Abramson been born a thousand years ago, he would have been a Viking legend. Guard dog? How about guard donkey? Meet Buck. And no, that is not a coyote-sized chew toy in his mouth. Buck went off Chuck Norris on a trespassing coyote. Congratulations, Buck. You've just been promoted from lawnmower to head of security. Former NFL player Rob Conrad swam nine miles after falling off his boat while fishing alone off the coast of Florida. His autopilot steered his boat away, and he'd make a 10-hour journey through shark-infested water alone. Rob, you're going to love the autopilot feature on this boat, I'm telling you. It's going to take you wherever you're going to need to go. Big fan, baby. You're going to love this thing. Go off the coast of Florida, go fishing, you're going to like it. Well, they finally did it. They put jet engines on a tank. Yes! I told Miss Cooper in the second grade it was possible to have jet engines on the tank. It's not in fact. I knew it. But it's not quite the way that you think it is. Oh. Yeah, see, the jet engines suck water up at a super high speed, and firefighters in Russia use this to put out giant wildfires. Oh, okay, so what do they call it, though? A fire killer? Hurricane tank? Oh, it's a big win. Sounds like a gassy country band. <laughs> well, take a look. See for yourself. Shaman Russian eight-wheel drive all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Have you seen a caravan yes, now? Yes, those are awesome. Mm -hmm. What about the GHEO rescue vehicle? Oh, yes. Like all, these yeah. all of these extreme vehicles can get you from here to there, but they manhandle the earth beneath you. Mm -hmm. So we put them all together in a montage. So Mother Earth, avert your eyes. <laughs> That's our show. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and get more great stories at whiteoakspaces.com. See y'all next time. Love the autopilot feature.